Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're unboxing Downfall Conquest of the Third Reich from GMT Games. This was a game originally designed by Chad Jensen, and working with John Butterfield, one of the most famous war game designers, he finished the game, and we now have Downfall Conquest of the Third Reich finally released posthumously. This is the standard version. Well, I guess this is the, the only version. There was a there was an additional uh, purchase you could make that came with a thicker box and mounted maps, which a mounted map, which is kind of disappointing that that was just not the, the version. Hopefully in the future we'll see this where this is just released in a big box with the mounted maps as the norm. Um, because that's just the best way to do them. So anyway, let's dig in and see what you get in this one. So as you know, Chad Jensen has designed the single best war game ever made, and that's of course Combat Commander uh, Europe. Um, Pacific's a close second, but Combat Commander Europe is just the best game ever made bar none. So, um, and John Butterfield has designed many, 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 many games, uh, many of which are solo friendly or solo completely against an AI. Unfortunately, this one does not have that in it. This is a two, 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 four player game, I believe, um, where you can play multiple sides or different sides of the same side, if that makes any sense. But anyway, Box is actually on there pretty tight. All right, so we start off. We have the rule book. Um, love the artwork. That looks like original artwork too. It's pretty cool. Same as on the cover here with the tank attacking the small town there. So we have um, it is a 44-page rule book. It says disregard rules marked by naval orange if you're playing the Overlord scenario. So just a quick reminder that if you're looking up a rule and you're playing Overlord, then don't do it. So I'm going to assume there's an Overlord scenario in here. So kind of goes to Third Reich. This is kind of large print, uh, a lot of white space in here. Starts out describing the map, the components. So let's see. Downfall is a two-player historical strategy game on the conquest of the Third Reich in World War II. The full game begins at the high water mark of Axis expansion in November of 1942 and ends in May of 1945 or earlier at German surrender. One player controls the Western Allies and the other the Soviet Union in their joint effort to destroy the Axis. Though the two players share the goal of defeating the Reich, each seeks a victory that favors their dominance in post-war Europe. To enable this competition between Western and Soviet players, each player controls an allied and an Axis faction and seeks to defeat the Axis on one front while staving off Axis collapse on the other front. So that's, yeah, that's right. So on the Eastern front, um, you get Eastern front, Western front, and the Eastern front, if you're playing Axis uh, on the Eastern front, you're playing the allies on the Western front and vice versa. So you're trying to maintain this balance of, of power rather than just just playing i'm the axis and you're the and you're the allies yeah the western player controls the western faction comprising the united states united kingdom and commonwealth nations and also commands the okh faction that is the german and minor axis armies facing the soviet union and eastern europe and russia the soviet player commands the soviet faction and the okw faction and that is the german and italian armies facing the western allies in western europe and the mediterranean so the rules refer to players by faction. The OKW faction picks an order marker, refers to the Soviet OKW. So very, very interesting design choice. So everyone plays a bad guy in this one. So that's good, I guess. Share the glory. So um, anyway, as I said, the rule book is very, a lot of, a lot of graphics here. Uh, it's just kind of a smaller font but a lot of white space and a lot of graphics. So it doesn't go through too much. Let's see how big the rules are in this 44 page book. Uh, looks like it goes to about 37. 
And then there's a section there on Overlord Naval Supremacy that's in the Overlord scenario only. So victory is on, described on page 37 of page 44, 44 pages. So anyway, so that is the rules on initiative, setting up for play. I am not sure how solo friendly this one is going to be. I mean, obviously any war gamer worth their salt can true solo playing both sides. There may be some hidden information. There may not be. So that's your rule book. It is on the nice uh, matte finish paper stock, which is good. And we've got like a stack here of stuff. Let's see. Okay, I got the maps in the. Okay, that was a stack of uh, reference cards. But there are a lot of those. So there's our counters, but this is all player reference cards. So, player aid card. Two copies of the Conquest of Third Right player aid card with land combat and movement costs. Partisans, partisan warfare order. Air units, zones of control, supply. Those are on, all these are on the uh, coded card stock that GMT is known for, good quality. And then we've got two sheets here for Western orders and OKH orders, and then the Soviet orders and the OKW orders. Just two copies of that, one for each player. Looks like it's a, got a chip pull of some sort. Any faction with no orders in the action track when orders remain in the cup. Interesting. All right, and then we've got the OKH faction and event card set up for the campaign game. The Soviet faction set up for the Husky scenario. So these are these are going to be references for the different scenarios. So there's OKH for the campaign. There's OKW for the campaign. There's the Soviet setup for the campaign game. There's the Western Allies and Mrs. Millennium Markers set up for the campaign game. And then you flip these over, and you've got the Western Allies for Husky, Soviet for Husky, uh, the OKH for Overlord, and the OKW for Overlord. But wait, there's more. Now we've got the OKW and OKH for Husky. And then you've got the Western and Soviet setups for Overlord. So campaign, Husky, Overlord. You got all your setups here on these combined reference cards. Now we've got our counter sheets. And so that doesn't appear to be a very counter dense game. We've got three sheets of counters. These are very nice in that they are pre-rounded. So when they punch out, you don't need to use any kind of Oregon Laminations 2.0, 2.5 millimeter corner rounder. You just have them pre-rounded. Now these half inch counters, you might want to do that with. You got some fleet markers for the different oceans. So it's counter sheet one, counter sheet two, It's a mix of, looks like, maybe five-eighths counters and some half-inch counters. And then here's counter sheet three. All right, and then we've got our map sheets. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Like I said, these you don't get the mounted maps, unfortunately, with this one. Those were an add-on. Four dice. Two red and two green. Merry Christmas. And let's see who wins. Green wins eight to five. So I would say Western beats Russia. GMT's famous bag o' bags. And we have cards, including a fake card. Play after any Soviet or Western roll. Play after any Soviet or OKH roll. It must be re-rolled and shuffle all action discard piles. So Chad was very big on those fake, fake cards in the Combat Commander where you could turn it over to your opponent to, you know, to force a re-roll. So it looks like it's made an appearance here in Downfall. So we have two packs of cards, you know, shrink wrap packs of cards, decks of cards that are actually um, can contain several actual decks. So we have these three action decks, the Soviets, the, the Western, and the Germans. And then we've got 
some more cards here that are event cards. And then we have an event deck. And then we've got some reference cards for new turns, initiative cost, event procedures, action rounds, and weather reference. So we have, you can have muddy weather, snowy weather, fair weather, and this is your reference card of what is going on. Okay. So a couple events, let's look. King Michael, if Romania is an Axis country and either of Bucharest or Plusti is controlled by non-Axis faction, then Romania surrenders eliminate all Romanian units. Supply, check supply for all units. Remove isolated markers from supplied units. Flip isolated one marker, so isolated three. Place isolated one markers on unsupplied units without a marker, da 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 da, do your taxes. So on and so forth. And then we've got action cards that you can play. So we'll just look at an example of each on the northwestern front. Turns one through three, you can do this. On the second vaulted front, for, on turns four through eight, you do whatever this iconography tells you. And similar action cards. Well, let's not look at the fake card. We already saw those. Uh, strategic movement play at the start of any western order. And uh, move only move one western unit any distance using only sea, sea areas and friendly rail lines. Can enter zone of control. So on and so forth. So. That's the westerns, and then the action cards for the Germans. Okay, W unit can do this. Otherwise, plus minus one. So, and this is in Africa. So, all right. So let's take a look at these maps. These are 22 by 34 each. So when they go together, it's going to be about a 44 by 34 inch map. Western side. It's beautiful. I love the way it's it's laid out. It's, it's got very large hexes. So we have at the top is going to go around. We have an initiative track that's going to go around to the other map as well. And then looking at the west here, we've got the United States and the Kingdom, France. We've got a track here to monitor the siege of Malta. Action tracks. So it's got the scoring track that goes back and forth, very similar to. Um, uh, fighting formations and combat commander so it's just you know kind of a tug of war type type scoring track and then you get the orders for the western and the okh for this side got a turn track tells you tells you in advance what the weather is going to be and we've got your eastern front and one thing that's interesting here is so we've got our your soviet and OKW orders are on the opposite side, meaning that that player will sit on that side of the table and the other player will sit on the other side of the table and so when it goes together, uh, they'll each be facing their own orders track and then keep up with that. So obviously this is the Eastern Front side. We have the Soviet Union, Ukraine, Romania, Bulgaria. So when these two go together, you end up with a 44 by 34 inch map. Uh, and then we've got our card play is tracked on this side here. The events, weather, your current weather. So you can see the reference cards will go there. And then your force pools are built up. There's one on this side and one on this side as well. So anyway, uh, combat column die modifier track, which is optional. And then there's just various tracks. Here's your initiative track as well. And you got when events happen, you see those highlighted areas mean an event happens of, of the various factions as they as they show up. So uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Only disappointment is that the mounted maps, these are very good quality and they're very thick. I mean, it's not just like some cheap paper, but you know, mounted maps just always are better. So it's kind of disappointing that this just wasn't included to begin with, especially you know, to honor Chad. But anyway, let's recap everything that you're going to get in the box. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Downfall, Conquest of the Third Reich from GMT Games, you're going to get those three action decks. German, Western, Soviet. You're going to get an event deck and then some reference cards for weather and turns. You're going to get those four dice. And we got seven to seven, they tied. Now you're going to get a bag of bags. 
I get those maps that we just took a look at. They, they've in you know two maps that go into one make one game board. Three sheets of counters and markers. You're gonna get your setup setup cards. You're gonna get your reference cards for, or your scenario setup cards. You're gonna get your reference cards for orders for all the factions. And you're gonna get two copies of the player aid card along with our 44 page rule book. And that is everything that comes in Downfall Conquest of the Third Reich from GMT Games designed by Chad Jensen and John Butterfield. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!